A disturbing case of animal abuse in West Miami-Dade where this poor American bulldog was found with bullet wounds in his face. That's right, somebody shot this dog right in the face, and the bullets are still lodged in his skull. And that dog is finally getting some help, but police really want to find out who did this. Local 10's Ian Margul is live now to show us how that dog is doing. Ian? This kind of cruelty to animals, it's just, it's just astounding. And right now, Saint needs your help to get the treatment he needs. We know that he's in pain, even though he's not showing, just because he's a dog and dogs are like that. They're happy, they just want to be happy. This is Saint, an American bulldog who loves attention and whose tail almost yes. never stops wagging, in spite of the fact that he was shot in the head twice and the bullets are still there. There's the more forward one in the nasal cavity, the sinus, and this is the one that's further back. Saint was brought to Miami-Dade Animal Services on Tuesday, but knowing he desperately needed help, they reached out to some of their partners and the Humans and Animals United Rescue stepped in. I thought that he would be aggressive or crazy, but he was a complete angel. Claudia Gonzalez, who volunteers for the rescue, took him from the shelter to Ferreira Animal Hospital, where Dr. Paula Ferreira could take charge of his care. He has one single uh, bullet wound here, which makes me think that somebody had the gun right up to his head. The next few days and weeks are really important for Saint. He needs a CT scan and highly technical surgery to remove the bullets, but all of it costs money and the rescue is asking for your help. If you guys can help us out to have some, some money and raise money to him, it will be so awesome. Help us, please, please help us. So Miami-Dade Animal Services is investigating this as an animal, animal cruelty case. There could be charges pending. If you would like to donate to help Saint, this is going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars for his care. We have a link on our website, local10.com. Live in West Miami-Dade, I'm Ian Margold, Local 10 News.